Welcome to today's episode of Hashtag TBT, The Bookish Thursday, where we explore different books, summarize them for you in simple language and help you with learning from them. Today we will be talking about Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a best-selling book written by Robert Kiyosaki, which explores the differences in mindset and financial strategies between his Rich Dad and Poor Dad. The book aims to educate readers on how to build wealth and achieve financial freedom through investing in assets such as real estate and small businesses, rather than relying on traditional methods such as a steady job and saving money. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of financial education and encourages readers to take control of their financial future by learning about cash flow, investing, and financial statements. Throughout the book, Kiyosaki shares personal stories and lessons from his own experiences, as well as those of his rich dad, to illustrate the principles he advocates for. He also provides practical advice and steps for readers to begin building their own wealth. In summary, Rich Dad Poor Dad is a book that offers a different perspective on building wealth and achieving financial freedom through investing in assets and financial education. It encourages readers to challenge traditional beliefs about money and work and provides practical advice for taking control of their financial future. Now let's understand the top 10 takeaways or learnings that we get from the book. First, the importance of financial education and understanding how money works. One of the main takeaways from Rich Dad Poor Dad is the importance of gaining knowledge and understanding about how money works and how the financial system is designed to benefit the wealthy. By educating yourself about the principles of wealth creation, you can make informed decisions about how to manage your money and build your wealth. Second, the difference between assets and liabilities and how to acquire assets to build wealth. Another key takeaway is the importance of understanding the difference between assets and liabilities. Assets are things that put money in your pocket, such as rental properties or stocks, while liabilities are things that take money out of your pocket, such as credit card debt or a mortgage. The book encourages readers to focus on acquiring assets, rather than just trying to make more money. Third, the importance of creating multiple streams of income. The book emphasizes that it's important to have multiple sources of income, rather than relying on just one. By diversifying your income streams, you can reduce your financial risk and increase your earning potential. Fourth, the power of leverage and how to use it to your advantage. The book also talks about the power of leverage or using other people's money and resources to achieve your financial goals. By understanding how to use leverage effectively, you can increase your potential return on investment and achieve financial success more quickly. Fifth, the importance of saving and investing for the long term. The author emphasizes the importance of saving and investing for the long term. This means setting money aside on a regular basis and putting it into investments that have the potential to grow over time, such as stocks, real estate, and mutual funds. Sixth, the dangers of living beyond your means and relying on debt. The book also highlights the dangers of living beyond your means and relying on debt, which can lead to financial stress and difficulty. Seventh, the importance of taking calculated risks in order to achieve financial success. The author emphasizes that taking risks is an important part of achieving financial success. However, it's important to take calculated risks, rather than blindly taking on unnecessary risks. Eighth, the importance of having a strong work ethic and being willing to learn and grow. The author stresses the importance of having a strong work ethic and being willing to learn and grow in order to achieve financial success. This means putting in the time and effort to acquire new skills and knowledge, and always being open to learning and trying new things. Ninth, the importance of having a vision and a plan for your future financial success. The book encourages readers to have a clear vision and plan for their financial future and to work towards it consistently. Tenth, the importance of surrounding yourself with supportive and successful people. The book also highlights the importance of surrounding yourself with supportive and successful people who can offer guidance and encouragement as you work towards your financial goals. Do let us know in the comments which book would you like to summarize next. Thank you all for watching and hope you all enjoyed the video. We will meet again next week with another book.